Hey guys, Nabil here, and welcome to another character breakdown from Samurai Showdown. Now, in this second episode, it's gonna be all about Nakururu. Now, as I previously mentioned, this is coming from a series of articles that IGN Korea is doing, where they're going through each of the so far um, revealed characters of the game. And the first one we did was Haumaru, which you can watch in the by clicking on the card above if you have not done so before and this time it's gonna be all about Nakururu. Now let's start by talking about Nakururu's story in the game and much like Haumaru's there is not a big difference if any at all from the previous games or timeline. Um, now as you know this whole series is a reboot now the new, the new game is part of a reboot and the story so far is pretty much the same so Nakururu is a warrior priestess from the Kamui Kotan village. She can hear the voices of spirits in nature and she's a gentle soul who loves nature and animals from the heart and likes to spend peaceful days with her family. Now speaking with to, about her family, so she has Nirimururu, her younger sister, and her father has been killed by now. I believe they, they don't mention it, but I pretty much think this already happened because they, they they talked about the uh, her sister and mother, but they did not mention her father. And I believe he's already been killed by that bear. If you follow the stories of uh, of Samurai Showdown, uh, anyway, we'll get to that in details in the episode dedicated to her from the Bushido Tale series. Uh, as you know, we've done two episodes in the Bushido series so far: Amakusa and Haomaru, and we'll have Nakururu in episode four, I believe. So yeah, that's pretty much it um, in terms of, of story. So she's coming with Kotan, she's a priestess, she loves uh, nature, and she has her falcon, Mamahaha. Now, now that we've talked about her story, the next thing um, we want to talk about is the voice actor for Nakururu. The voice actress, should I say, is Mai Nakahara. Now, she's already voiced the character in The King of Fighters 14. Uh, she is known for uh, giving the voice for some anime characters, some other games. She was in Tales of Vesperia. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, Mai Nakahara. Now, in terms of stage, Nakururu stage is Kamui Kotan. It's always been the case uh, for Nakururu. She's always in Kamui Kotan. When we can see the village in the back, we can see the there's a bear watching. That's cute. And some animals. So yeah, it's it basically is a remake of her old stages, uh, where you can see nature and animals and the Kamui Kotan uh, village. Now let's talk a little bit about her moves. And as we did with Haomaru, we go with the normal moves. Then we talk about her special moves, super moves, and super special. Now, first of all, you have the normal A button. And much like uh, what we've seen with Haomaru, it de the move depends and changes depend on how close you are to your opponent. So now we're looking at a close A button, and it's a you know small slash, not a lot of damage, obviously. Uh, if you're further away from your opponent, the animation of the move is different, and in terms of damage, it's a little bit more uh, than the when you're close to your opponent. So that's the A button. Um, it's it's actually when you're far. It's actually a good. Uh, you can you can use it as a, uh, you know, to keep your your uh, opponent at a, as a at a distance. Then we have the B button again, similar to the A in terms of how it changes uh, depending on how close or far you are from your opponent. In terms of damage, obviously the B button does more damage. So you have this animation when you're close when Nakururu slashes her opponent, turns around. Um, pretty good damage, I would say, for a medium attack. If you are far away from your opponent, it's a, it looks like a heavy slash, but it's not. It's an overall quicker move, and of course does a little bit more damage. Now let's go ahead to the uh, C attack, or the heavy slash. Uh, and obviously this one, that's the one that makes the biggest damage in terms of all the buttons. And again, if you're close, if you're close to the uh, to your opponent, it actually can do uh, two hit combos. Just it's uh, basically two hits. She slashes down and then downward and then upward, uh, which is pretty good damage. 
if you are away from your opponent the damage is almost the same if not even more however it's just one strike move yeah the damage is definitely more when you're further away from your opponent it just she just does that uh, downward slash but it takes more damage it's obviously slower has a slower startup and so you want to be careful about spamming this move a lot of people you know when it, when i play samurai showdown online a lot of people just rely on the c button or the heavy slash a plus b in the previous games uh, because they do the most damage in terms of melee attack uh, however they, they they leave you quite open if your opponent guards or or parry so you want to be very careful you know when you try to land one of these uh, then you have the kick button, so normal kick, uh, reverse kick, uh, or roundhouse kick. Um, not a whole lot of damage. It uh, doesn't matter if you're close or away from your opponent, it's pretty much the same move in terms of animation and damage. Now, let's talk about low attacks. Uh, down and A is a small, you know, quick, um, you know, light uh, attack, as you can see. Um, if you, if you do it with B, she does this rolling attack, which she had since the first game. And it pretty much does a three hit combo if you're close to your opponent. It actually can hit three times with pretty good damage. It is also quite fast. Now, if you're further away from your opponent, it's just one hit. Um, however, if you're closer, it's three hits. And it's quite fast. As you can see, you can, even if your opponent's guard, you can quickly follow up with another attack. Uh, so this is a really good tool that you can use put some pressure on your opponent um, And even if it's guarded you can follow up with another attack uh, so it's it's pretty much safe on block Now let's move on to low uh, C attack So it has, it's actually an uppercut move that does a lot of damage and can be used as an anti-air so it's it's really good it hits both uh, a grounded character as well as if the opponent is jumping at you. Uh, and then we have the low kick, uh, which is your typical low kick in a video game, a uh, fighting video game. It, it's actually not bad because it allows you to uh, keep the opponent at a distance. Uh, it's, it has a fast startup. Um, you can also use the diagonal down and forward and the kick, which results in a sweep. Now, jumping attacks, we have the jumping A attack. Uh, again, the lowest damage. Uh, I'm not sure if you can, if it can crosses up. I don't know if it cross up or not. Uh, and then we have the jumping B, which a little bit more damage. And it's also quite good if you wanna uh, counter attack a jumping opponent. So you can jump and use it. Um, it has quite a good priority. So you could, um, you know, it's, it's, it's really good if you want to counterattack a jump in attacking opponent and then we have the jump in C attack which does the most damage Nakururu uh, uses her blade in a circular um, upward motion um, and it, the damage is actually quite good and there's a whole not a whole lot of things to see this does not cross up for sure uh, I'm, I'm, I still want to try the jump in B or jump in A I believe the jump in B could be um, it has cross up potential and then we have the jumping kick uh, which comes in two flavors so you have the normal just jumping kick a little bit of damage not a whole lot uh, it's, it's good if you want to follow it up with uh, another attack or you have the uh, person down and kick uh, actually she does this uh, uh, flip and knocks her opponent down as you can see and it's really good if you want to use it as an anti-air as well. The jump in, uh, if you both of you and your opponent jump in, using that has a good priority to um, knock your opponent down. Um, and then finally, she has a jump in uh, grab, as you can see. So she grabs her opponent and you know grab him and slam him to the ground. Uh, Nakuru also has her signature wall jump, which you can use um, either to get out of sticky situations or to jump over projectiles so those are all the normals we went through them now let's go ahead and talk about some of these special moves so first we have the anu mutsube uh, which would uh, it's a quarter circle back uh, with any of the uh, attack buttons a b or c and that's her you know signature move where she just uh, she just slides uh, you know using her powers and knocking the opponents 
down. The attack is very fast, and which makes it very difficult for the opponent to counterattack it. So it's really a good tool that Nakuru has that you gotta keep in mind when you're playing the psychological game with your opponent has a is a quick attack that knocks down the opponent. Both the speed as well as the distance Nakuru travels depends on the button pressed. The second special move we're gonna talk about is the Rare Mutsube, which it looks it's the same the same move. However, it goes upward and diagonal, so it's not on the ground sliding on the ground. However, she goes. Um, diagonally upward uh, and it's done by a circ uh, quarter forward uh, circle quarter circle forward sorry with any of the um, attack buttons um, it's a really fast attack again similar to the other one however this one can be used and should be used as an anti-air so you can put a lot of pressure on your opponent if you're doing the Anu Mutsube um, and and your opponent thinks you're gonna do it and wants to jump over it you can follow up uh, with the Rari Mutsube, which actually uh, will be used as an anti-air. So again, uh, similar to the other one, the distance and the uh, damage will depend on which button you press, A, B, or C. Then we have the Kamui Rumize, which uh, she had since Samurai Showdown 2, which she uses her uh, scarf, if you will, and she does this roll in motion, and it's a, it's a three-hit combo, uh, with uh, pretty good damage, I would say. Um, it basically depends actually um, on the button used. So it could be one attack, two, one hit, two hit, or three hits. Um, this attack can also be used to reflect projectiles, which is very handy for against some characters. If they're spamming their projectiles, you can use it to send them back to them. Nakuru also has her other signature move where she jumps and grabs to her um, falcon mamahaha and she can fly for about a couple seconds about a 1.5 to 2 seconds and during that when she's flying with her uh, you know holding to her falcon she you can move the uh, falcon around or the whole nakururu you can move her around a little bit and then you can slash using one of the buttons a b or c uh, you can also uh, let go of the uh, of her of Mama Haha just by pressing down, uh, either uh, straight down or diag or any of the diagonals and down. And then you can use the Kamui Mutsube, which basically from her hawk you attack using uh, her signature Anu Mutsube attack, um, and that's just by uh, a quarter circle forward while you are hanging to Mama Haha. So those are her special moves now. She has her uh, super move, which which is done by doing a quarter circle forward and both a light and medium attack, which starts with an airborne attack as she clings to Mama Haha and then attacks her opponent. After then, she goes with a series of strikes before using Mama Haha again. Uh, this is a quite fast attack. It's really it's best to be used as a way to jump over um, projectiles and then that way you guarantee a hit. Uh, otherwise, you always have to be careful with supers and Samurai Showdown as you wanna make sure you're about, you are gonna hit your opponent, otherwise it's gonna leave you quite open. Uh, now, hitting the character with the full super, uh, of course, um, makes him or her drops their weapons. And then we have her super special uh, move. And as you can see, it's quite a cinematic one. It can be done anytime in the game, in a match. However, you won't, once, if, if you do it, you won't be able to do it against so you. Again, you want to be very careful uh, on when you want to do the super special. And again, it's quite vulnerable if, you're, if your opponent guards it. So that's pretty much, that's Nakuru in a nutshell. So it's your classic Nakuru. All her special moves pretty much from the previous games are back. And she looks quite fun to play and she has a lot of tools, a lot of quick attacks, a lot of safe attacks if you will, and a lot of ways to, you know, uh, jump, go over projectiles and surprise your opponent. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And now until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, thank you for watching.